Hello, it's time for Fight News Now Extra. My name is John Pollock, and we have lots of news to chat about today with John Ramdeen and Robin Black. On the show today, Ross Pearson gets some vindication. How bad is Daniel Cormier's knee? And Chael Sonnen is walking away from the sport. In light of this past week's random drug test failure, Chael Sonnen has announced that he is retiring from the sport. It was revealed this past week that his random drug test detected two anti-estrogen drugs and was likely facing a suspension from the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Sonnen retires with a record of 29-14-1, having fought for the UFC middleweight title on two occasions against Anderson Silva and one shot against light heavyweight champion John Jones, but was unable to win UFC gold during his career. Ariel Hawani reported on Wednesday's edition of UFC Tonight that Dwayne Bang Ludwig will be in the corner of Chad Mendez on August 2nd when he challenges Jose Aldo for the UFC featherweight title in Los Angeles. Ludwig will not be cornering Uriah Faber on July 5th when he fights Alex Caceres. In more news from Helwani's report on UFC Tonight, Daniel Cormier's knee is not in great shape with an MRI revealing he has a significant tear in his LCL with 50% of his ACL gone as well. Cormier has not made a decision on whether he will go ahead and have surgery on the injured knee. It's expected that Cormier will get to fight the winner of the John Jones-Alexander Gustafson bout as they will meet on September the 27th for the light heavyweight championship. And finally, Ross Pearson may not have got his hand raised last weekend in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but it seems unanimous, outside of two judges, that Pearson won his fight with Diego Sanchez. The UFC has decided to pay Pearson his win bonus, meaning an extra $30,000 will be coming his way, despite the loss remaining on his record. Pearson has also filed a complaint with the New Mexico Athletic Commission over the decision. I am here with John Randine and Robin Black, where sometimes the best chats are off the air right before we start. Let's, uh, let's discuss Chael Sonnen here. This has been uh, quite the week for one Chael P. from Westland, Oregon. Announcing his retirement, my first question is, have we seen Chael Sonnen fight for the last time? Because I think there are many skeptics that this is the end of Chael Sonnen. It is not the end of Chael Sonnen. However, it obviously comes down to Chael Sonnen. If he does not want to compete in mixed martial arts any longer and he feels that he can make a boatload of money being an analyst, uh, you know, being an ambassador for mixed martial arts, we may have seen the last. But I have a feeling, I think one of the things he said throughout his career is that his goal is to become a mixed martial arts champion. Uh, he said, you know, when his father passed away, it was one of the things he he told him he was going to accomplish in his career. Uh, now that Anderson Silva's on the sidelines, who knows, uh, Sonnen may get that opportunity. We saw that Vitor Belfort had the opportunity to face off against John Jones when all that debacle happened. So you never know uh, what would happen in mixed martial arts. I would not be surprised if we saw Chael Sonnen compete in the future. Well, in case that's true, I mean, I'm going to treat it like it's real. And I'd like to have a world word with Chael P over here at Camera 3. Chael, there's going to be a lot of people talking to you about failed drug tests. They're going to be talking to you about the way that you spoke. They're going to be talking to you about putting on a show, winning fights, losing fights, drug tests, all these things. But I want to thank you for the fights that you gave us. The great fights and the bad fights, the hard fights, the grinding fights, the fights where you showed unbelievable uh, bravery and the, uh, the fights where you didn't. And when you dug deep every single time, you inspired us as a fighter. All this other stuff is in play, but I wanted to say that to you first. As you look at kind of the landscape of things, we had talked about this way back when the Vanderlei Silva fight first got moved to the July pay-per-view. Obviously, a big money fight and potentially the last big money fight for either guy at this point with the prospect that Sonnen could be facing a suspension here. Vanderlei Silva could get denied a license and not be able to apply for another one for a year. With that not on the table for Sonnen any longer, was there maybe nothing left for him that he was interested in here? I don't want to go ahead with, with this suspension. I've got this analyst role, and who knows if Fox was maybe would rather that this guy just reti retired broadcaster is a much nicer title than a guy who is serving a suspension. I think that this was a decision that certainly almost appears to have come out of nowhere with this random drug test it's failure. It's true, but the thing is, I've had the good fortune to talk to fighters throughout the years, guys that have you know said that they've retired from active competition, and one thing fighters do is they love to fight. They love to get in there, they love to train, and they love to compete. It's just part of their DNA. Robin's supposed to be retired, but he still wants to compete. He still wants to go out and train and try to test himself. And you don't think that Chael Sonnen, sitting on the sidelines, working with some of the best guys in the world, will say in a year from now, you know what? 
I missed this. I want to get back out there. Randy Couture did it till he's 47 years old. And, and when that main event falls out and you need somebody, you need somebody. I'll talk. Chael Sonnen's on the speed that's dial. That's right. That is right. Because Chael Sonnen will be ready to go, and he can talk up a fight like very few people in this sport. Yeah. Let's not forget he just failed a drug test, two substances. And yes, we know we've done the research. He was on TRT. We know that. And to get off TRT, you do need these are post psychotherapy drugs prescribed by a doctor, but they're failing. When you take him, you fail a drug test. He never should have been in that fight. So this is image control. This is image management. What do I do? Be a guy who recently failed drug tests? Or do I say, I retire after a lifetime of competition and I still love the sport and I keep my job? And let's face it, I want to thank the guy for the great fights that he's given us. All this other turbulence is real too and it will be a part of a story and it always should be. But you, you guys are absolutely right. Something comes up, somebody needs a fight, a year and a half has gone by, any suspensions have disappeared, the guy's been trained. Training. And what's better than Chael Sonnen, you know, being suspended and coming back? Chael Sonnen coming out of retirement to yeah. beat up some mouthy kid. It's definitely possible. But if it doesn't happen, all turbulence aside and all of that is real, thank you for the great fight, sir. And you bring up a great point, Robin. The fact that if you are a doctor looking at Chael Sonnen, who ha was on testosterone for all this time, he probably should be on those anti-estrogen drugs right now. From a health perspective, he shouldn't be fighting right now. He should be letting his body just basically rebuild itself. And I think that right now, maybe the best option should have been when we're getting rid of testosterone replacement therapy, that these guys who are on it, they need a moratorium where we, we don't have fights yeah. going in. And, and that's a bit of a cloud now. Dan Henderson, did we see the best Dan Henderson when he came in weighing 199 pounds against Daniel Cormier? Eight weeks yeah. after he he's, got yeah, off he's this. He's just crazy enough yeah. to fight sick, with, to fight with you know, a, a beaten up uh, system. How long would it take uh, Chael Sonnen to get you know, everything with the testosterone replacement and these drugs for him to get back into a normal uh, routine with, and cycle with his, his natural body within chemistry. Within three or four months, he should be back to normal. So by that time, any suspensions are served. At the same time, you've managed your image and stuff like that, but, but you are not gonna be the man you used to be. Not only are you back to your natural aged body, but it's really taken a beating because of what you've done to it. Even putting a guy on testosterone replacement therapy, when he comes off it, he is going to feel sluggish that's the purpose of it also now as a retired man any man out there who's got low tests can go to a doctor and get testosterone replacement so he'll probably take that and it'll make him a healthier guy and he won't be competing there you go great points from both of you guys for robin black john ramby and i'm john pollock and we have more coming up with fight news now extra